Well, Iowa State University has a long history of sports with some programs more than a century old. But do you know how the Cyclones got their name in the late 1800s? Can you name the people behind the winds? One person on campus can, and he's retiring at the end of this month. Local 5's Lake and McGee sat down with a man everyone calls the Iowa State Athletics Walking Encyclopedia. Football came in 1892. Tom Cruschel can tell you almost anything about ISU athletics. Iowa State fielded its first intercollegiate team, which was uh, a baseball squad. He started working at ISU in 1985. And has seen championships, wins, and athletes come and go. But the one that stays with him is the history behind the school. Yes, some of it gets uh, stored in your head. Uh, forever. Some of it you learn because people are coming to ask you about it all the time. Does that happen? Sure. After 36 years of talking the history of sports with network and local journalists, staff, athletes and alumni, Tom is ready to retire. But before he goes, he told me some of the history he has stored in his brain. Iowa State's 1895 team, for example, went to Northwestern as a huge underdog and won the game and the Chicago Tribune printed a story that says Iowa Cyclone devastates Evanston Town and that is where we get cyclones. From tragedies where seven athletes died in a plane crash to the history of Jack Trice Stadium as the only Division I Power 5 school with a football facility named after an African American. Let's go state! Let's go state! Tom is ready to put away his encyclopedia and pass on the knowledge to others. You appreciate the legacy long after you stepped off the floor or the pitch or the field or the court. Reporting on the Iowa State campus, Lake and McGee, Local 5 News, We Are Iowa. Treasure trove of information there. Well, Tom started at ISU in 1985 as the head of the athletic communications, and he stayed in that role for 20 years. In 2013, he became program director for Cyclone TV.